Hey everyone, it's Victoria. And people are talking about how, why raw foods? Why even bother if you could stay vegan cooked? Why would you bother with raw foods? Why? Well, why do people from cooked foods go to raw foods? Because they're not getting every level of vibration that they want. Something's missing. There's something more out there. There's something better out there. And why not strive for that? Who's saying that you could be perfect all the time? Nobody. Who's saying that everybody's 100% all the time? Nobody. Okay? But we could try, we could strive, we could watch videos on uh, raw food recipes, we could try to make things before we go to the cooked foods. We will have cooked foods sometimes, but it doesn't mean it's the majority of time. If your base is there, if you are, um, let's say, let's just add it to, let's just say a religion, okay? If you are Jewish, just because you don't go to synagogue every minute of the day, you're not praying all the time, does not make you not Jewish, okay? Just because you have a cooked meal here and there and you're not perfect, doesn't make you not a raw person. You are raw the majority of the time. You believe in the raw food movement. You believe in, let's say, veganism. Let's say you're vegan and you don't have 100% all the time. Does it make you a non-vegan? Not really. It's the majority that counts. It's really the majority of what you do. So people mess up. People, you know, allow themselves some grace. Some people just don't want to feel confined to a word or a label. And that's fine. Let people be. Don't give them hell over it and say, oh my God, she's not really vegan. She had eggs. Oh my God, he's not really, you know, raw foodist because he had nuts. And who cares? Who cares? Don't you understand the bigger picture here? Do you understand what people are trying to do? People are trying to give the world a message. The world is sick and nearly dead. The world is falling apart. The animals are dying. There are bigger, bigger messages to make besides nitpicking on every single person of uh, if this is uh, bad or if that's bad and you know people defending their cooked food by saying it's not addictive it's a fact it is addictive I don't care if you're insulted by it it's a fact I also am addicted to cooked food I admit that but at least I admit it okay saying that something's not addictive when it is y yeah it's like it's a non-issue it doesn't matter but it, but people get insulted and then they make videos and then this, you know, becomes a venue for people to lash out and then there becomes a war and then there becomes, you know, my God, my diet's better than your diet, blah, blah, blah. Look, all I'm saying is this. I was both. I was, I was everything. I was meat. I was vegan. I was vegetarian. I was raw. I was all of those things. And I'm telling you, raw feels best. And there's a reason for it, because the vibration is there. You're not cooking it. You're not numbing it down. You're not numbing yourself down. Is it something I strive for? Yes. Can I do it all the time? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time. But I think that you can make alternative recipes to cook food and satisfy those cravings. I've been told that from other people, and I've been doing it myself for my experience alone. It tells me this. I can eat a raw vegan cinnamon roll and feel like I really had a cinnamon roll. It really does work. So you can try it, or you could not try it. But the fact remains that if you want to strive for something, don't bash other, other people because it's just not getting anywhere. It's just causing more strife. Everybody just eat your food, have your raw vegan pie, have your vegan pie, do what you want to do, and leave everybody alone. Stop making videos to make it more drama and add more drama to your life. It doesn't, it doesn't matter in the end. We have a bigger picture. We have a bigger message to send out. Okay, fast food restaurants, all that stuff that's going on, that's the thing that we want to conquer and tackle. And we could all do it together, not divide and conquer. All right, that's my message for today. Take care. Happy and healthy. Bye.